Let's do this. Hold on, let me set my watch. I always forget to turn off my dog on or stop my exercise when it's over. I wind up going about six minutes over every time I finish exercising because I never turn it off on my watch so I can keep track of some of this stuff. I was watching a little bit of the news going around, <clears throat> going on around the world this morning. And I'm sure a lot of you are watching that too. And I gotta say my prayers are with a lot of folks who are feeling a lot of oppression under the current circumstances where some of the measures being taken are fairly extreme. And I don't wanna bring any negativity in here because there's plenty of that out there. But what I wanted to say was, is focus on what's going on right around you. You know, as strange as it sounds to some people, Morning. Strange as, strange as it may sound to some people, but around here, folks still wave at you when they drive by, even if they don't know who you are. You just wave at the strangers. And to have strangers passing you by on the street that still wave at you, there's something kind of, there's something kind of special about that, that just, Makes you feel like you're part of a community. We get a lot further in this world if we would treat each other with a little dignity and respect. All this stuff that's constantly pumped out on the news is just designed to get your blood boiling. And then you go out with blood boiling and bring that out to the people around you. That's not healthy for us. So as much as I pay attention to what's going on in the world, I figure you get a lot of that on your own without me having to bring it to you as well. So what I'm gonna to try to bring you is some encouragement today. There's a Bible verse that comes to mind for me quite often when it comes to trying to make sense of many of the senseless things that go on. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your paths straight. I've pondered that a lot of my life. What does it mean to acknowledge him in all my ways? <clears throat> well, it doesn't take much. It's just with every decision you make, you follow another verse that says pray without ceasing, you're talking to him. Talk to the Lord about the things going on in your life, about the decisions you're making. It's hard to know exactly which way to go sometimes. But another verse lets us know that a man makes his plans and the Lord directs his steps. It can give you a lot of encouragement to know that even if your plan isn't on the right track, if you're acknowledging him in all your ways, he will direct your steps. It kind of feels a little bit like that scene in Indiana Jones when uh, the part three, the last crusade, that's it. Uh, when Indy stepped out onto that invisible plank that he couldn't see, all he could see was the chasm in front of him. It kind of feels like that when you start walking that way that you don't know, you can't see the ground in front of you, but yet when you take that step, you don't fall. And then you find it easier and easier to trust in each new step. I think getting up and getting yourself healthy, being ready for what may come, is a big part of being able to put those plans into effect. Because when you have energy, when you're able to get out there and see people, rather than just talking about all the negative things going on today, you can support one another with encouragement. And I think there's a lot of people who aren't talking to each other because of all these pandemic rules. 
this is my opportunity to be able to talk to you and spread some encouragement your way. So tell me, do folks wave at the strangers passing by in your town? Maybe you could start it. They sure didn't do it when I lived in Houston. Waving at strangers. It's just a small step you can take that can put a little bit more back in your control to bring positive energy into the people right around you. Some folks find it warming and comforting or even just surprising. But the bottom line is, try not to focus on all the evils in the world because there ain't much you can do about it. But if you focus on what's going on right in your community around you, you can make a big difference. If you focus on just treating people right, treating people with honesty, dignity, and respect, regardless of what they're dressed like or what they look like or what color they are, any of that stuff. Just treat everybody the way you would want to be treated. I think there's another Bible verse that talks about that too. Just to see that transition from dark to light, I feel like you're turning the lights on for your day. Got a little energy from my walk. I'm gonna get ready and go have some breakfast. I think I'm gonna have a New York strip steak. Go wake up my wife. We're gonna get started on the day. So don't miss your walk. Get up and get going. Gotta start the day off right. And I'll see you guys next time.